Today I quickly want to go over all of the weapons that in my opinion are probably the best to use in Cold War Zombies in Season 3 right now, since if you don't know, recently the Hauer with the newest update of the season got a bit of a nerf and it isn't as overpowered as it used to be, but that doesn't mean that it still isn't a good weapon. I'll be going over a few weapons that I've seen throughout the zombie community and using myself that are really powerful, and in my opinion there is no definite 100% great weapon in the game. I know I made a Gallo video if you are subscribed to me and you've seen that video recently where I claimed that it was the best and I'm gonna kind of revert that and just go over these weapons real quick. I'll be going over them and in my opinion they're all good in their own way. They're useful for certain things and that's what I'll quickly go past. I won't be giving you attachments if you really want some I might leave them down in the description but with this it's kind of you know just use whatever you think will be the best probably. So the first weapon that we're going to talk about is the Carve 2 Tactical Assault Rifle. Now this weapon recently came out as a challenge where in zombies you have to get up to 250 long shot zombie kills I recommend playing outbreak or multiplayer hopping and getting two or more rapid kills really fast in 10 different matches basically that means you get double kills or obviously triple kills it's really easy for both of the situations and in my opinion is definitely a hundred percent one of the most overpowered weapons that are out now in zombies it's just like the m16 which is also in my opinion a great weapon so for example if you don't have the carve 2 unlocked yet or if you let's say can't decide between the m16 and the carve 2 they're both good in their own way the m16 is just a really powerful weapon and the three bursts just seem to be very powerful but with the carve 2 one of the coolest things about this weapon is that it has zero recoil and on top of that i noticed that the higher rounds that i went it was able to one shot zombies because of the three burst ability that it has i'm pretty sure it actually is a six burst and not even a three burst even though in the higher rounds if you use the carve 2 you might realize that for example you're not getting multiple kills at the same time but that's just because i'm pretty sure it stops kind of shooting through the zombies up on the higher rounds but you will definitely be getting one kill at a time and the m16 is very similar in this way it does have a bit of recoil but it's still an all-out great weapon that in the past if you didn't know people used to use the m16 a lot to go for speed running of easter eggs on the machina back at launch and things like that and i think the weapon is still good and it was just slightly forgotten when the howard took over everything but let's talk about the howard now it's still a great weapon and i definitely recommend mostly using it for outbreak if you're planning to go for high rounds now the reason I say this is because obviously you get up to the like round seven up you'll start getting a bunch of ray guns ray k's dies and things like that so around that round the hour will start becoming kind of not as good as it was in the past so you're definitely better off starting to use obviously the wonder weapons the hour again it's a great weapon to use it's not as great as it was in the past but hopping into outbreak it's a definitely fun one to use and I guess the only issue is its fire rate whereas with the gallo which is the next weapon I want to talk about the gallo itself is a very 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 strong weapon as well just like the Hauer it does have a faster fire rate because it's not a pump shotgun it's more of like an automatic similar with the street sweeper all of the shotguns in the game are great the street sweepers range isn't good the gallows range in my opinion is amazing and the Hauer's is kind of in between their both shotguns that are out right now so if you're ever contemplating hopping in with a weapon into outbreak I definitely recommend more the Hauer and the gallo definitely not the street sweeper just because of its range but if you're a badass and you decide to hop in definitely with the street sweeper run around with the ring of fire and with the gallo also ring of fire but with the hower i recommend actually different field upgrades depending on your situation now another weapon that i see a lot being talked about in the zombie community and i don't really understand this is the magnum's akimbo versions i don't really know why people love this weapon so much i've used it a bunch of times in zombies and it's just not that great every single time i upload a video where i talk about the best weapon there are always plenty of comments where people claim that the magnum's dual akimbo versions are the best weapons in the game personally even since launch when i went for dark ether camo i never really liked the magnums they're all right weapons and around a certain stage they stop being very good so if anything you could just spawn in with these until you get obviously your preferred weapon like a wonder weapon to go for high rounds normal zombies i don't know if i'd recommend spawning in with this in outbreak i just felt like mentioning it so people don't complain that i didn't talk about the magnums i'm not entirely sure it's probably to do with the attachments i tried my best to find out the best ones for myself the main thing being a kimbo obviously
obviously, but it's just, I don't know. It's just not a great weapon in my opinion. I think it would have been probably better if like, you know, one of the ammo mods were still overpowered, like the dead wire ammo mod or something like that. And the last weapon that we're going to be quickly talking about is the ballistic knife. Now, in my opinion, the Carf 2 and the ballistic knife that came out in season three are probably one of the like greatest weapons we've had in a while. Also with the PPSH, do not forget about the PPSH, my favorite weapon in all the zombies. It's probably one of my most used weapons in Cold War zombies right now. But the ballistic knife is amazing. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, it is a melee weapon. So you will be getting up to 115 points every single time you melee a zombie. Number two, it also shoots. So it shoots out knives like a ballistic knife does. So on top of it being a melee weapon, it can also be a range weapon. And lastly, it is insane on the order boss in Firebase Z. So whenever you decide for going for high rounds on Firebase, Firebase Z always, and I mean this, always spawn in with the ballistic knife because the round 30s up when you start getting the Orda boss, a combination of the ballistic knife and the ring of fire is out of this world. Now do be sure that you are really close up to the Orda boss because a lot of people talk about this and they're like, ooh, Orda boss, ballistic knife, seven shots, five shots, dead. Make sure you are really close up to the Orda boss because that's really the only way you will be able to take it out really fast. But if you're ever deciding which weapons to use out of all this list, probably ballistic knife mainly for fire base z and all of the other ones i really recommend using them the howard the gallo the street sweeper the m16 the carve 2 the magnums i guess and there's plenty of other weapons that are still good but they're just not as overpowered as these weapons and obviously the most powerful weapons in the game are the wonder weapons and they've always been the overpowered weapons but you know your boy gotta make a list because i really want to help out the community and we're kind of stuck in a situation where nobody's really sure what the best weapon is and that's the thing there is no best weapon so if this video did help you out in some kind of way or if you are still kind of upset i didn't mention any of your preferred weapons be sure to comment down below i will check them out and maybe do a part two to this kind of a video because again there is no definite 100 percent one weapon that is amazing if you're new here be sure to subscribe like the video and as always guys i will see you in the next one peace out